All right, this is Bob Pellerin, and I'm here with Patrick Gagnon with, from Electroto. And today I'm going to talk to you about something called the Cable Warden. And if you're wondering what that is, I'll give you a big hint. It's related to the Toyota RAV4 Prime. As some of you may remember, I've had lots of other videos where we were talking about, you know, things like the comfort, the range, and everything. It's a great vehicle. And by the way, this is not the same vehicle as the 2021 that I showed in all those other videos. This is actually a 2024. So one of the reasons I am here, as you may have seen the video called Cable Gate, is there is potentially a problem with the cable, the high voltage cable that goes from the front to the back of the vehicle, whereby it rusts and deteriorates more quickly than one would expect. I.e., I've had people complain uh, that after a year or two, uh, they're starting to have some problems and some of them is not related to high usage. In other words, to kilometers and range, it has more to do with uh, time and environment and so forth. So Electro-Tow um, basically came up with a solution and what it does is it's basically a clamshell type of device that will go around the cable to protect it. So can you tell me, uh, Patrick, what year this came out? Uh, the project is born in 2022. Okay, so, so it's been around. Um, so just to clarify, the product actually does not require any anti-rust you know, agents. There's no sprays. There's no nothing. It's really a shell that goes and protects. So therefore, it does not affect the warranty. It does not affect anything that Toyota uh, would normally complain about. So we're not modifying any cable, any, you know, any of the, uh, the junctions or anything like that. It is specifically there to protect from the outside, really in a nice, safe and, uh, you know, very smart way. So the product is, is built where? Uh, the product is built uh, there in Quebec City. So this is a Quebec good product. So good reason for me to want to put this on the car. And uh, I, I guess you have probably, since you've been offering it in 2022 to 20, you know, 23, you must start to have some data. It, does it improve? Like, have you seen the cable stay cleaner than it would otherwise? Yes, yes, yes. The cable stay like, uh, you know, the brand new one. After one year, the, the, the cable is like uh, still brand new one. So it, it, just to be very clear, depending on where you are in the world, this cable really has problems with the salt or the calcium or whatever kind of abrasives you might be using on your roads or highways and, and so forth. Uh, so if you're in parts of the world where it's warm weather and so forth, you probably will never or should never encounter this. Uh, I don't know whether uh, weather is like the coastwise would be affected maybe by uh, salt, uh, you know, salt water or salt in the air and that type of thing if you go through hurricanes or tornadoes or monsoons i don't know if those would affect it i'd love to hear the comments whether that is something that is affecting parts of the world i know i get a lot of um questions maybe for england and places like that i don't know how they react i can tell you that in uh the northern or southern uh canada towards the east in quebec ontario or if you're in vermont or new york state for example i know that those areas are heavily affected by this because we use a lot of abrasives on the runs so we're going to take the car in and uh, courtesy of uh, Patrick here, and what we're going to do is we're going to take it into the grass and we're going to show you uh, taking, uh, basically lifting the car, showing you exactly what the cable looks like. Since this is brand new, it's got 2,000 kilometers on it, so we're not expecting to find anything right now, but we'll go ahead and protect it. And it's certainly going to make me feel better knowing that uh, I'll be able to keep this one much longer than the previous weapon. <laughs> show you what's inside the cable warden box when you get it so if you ordered one here's what we're looking at so you're gonna find our instructions here and basically it comes with the zip plated bolts stainless steel nuts ABS plastic casing sealant tube quick and easy installation guide and so you've got the installations here with a QR code You've got a couple of really nice stickers as well, so you can go and put that to your vehicle if you so wish. And here, apart from the aforesaid um, pieces, you will find the cable warden itself. So let me go ahead and open this without ripping everything, if I can. And I cannot. Here we go. All 
Okay, well, I'm having a hard time here. So here we go. So what we have is the brand new version of the RAF4. This is the fourth generation of the cable. And so what you'll find are, like I said, a clam. So basically we've got the connector that goes in here and you've got the protection. And so that will just basically go into it like this. So that's what you get. <laughs> So what we're about to do is to install the cable warden. Uh, one of the questions I had is what kind of maintenance is there on the cable warden? Is there anything special that we need to do when we install it or after we've installed it? So uh, you, you, need to, you will need to remove this plastic just to uh, remove you know, the sand on it because if you have too much sand, it will block you know, the, uh, the hole inside the uh, cable warden. So those two air, airing holes there are very important, they stay clean. And the other thing too is if you put any kind of a treatment on the car, like we have this greasy looking film here, uh, that will also accumulate if it's sprayed in here accidentally, and depending on where you got it done, uh, it might you know, tend to have sand and dirt stick to it. So you might want to decrease this plastic shield here while you're doing this installation. Okay, so we removed the plastics and as you can see this is the connector and one of the things that we want to make sure is that we clean it. So you'll notice here that there's a lot of uh, gummed up anti-rusting agents that shouldn't be there so we'll just clean around to make sure that it doesn't affect the cable or the cable warden. Okay, so the next step is we're going to basically take this away from the drive unit. So the cable is going to be separated. There's two 12 millimeter bolts on top that need to be removed. Okay, so here we have the, the connector that is disconnected. And as you'll notice, we did not unplug the car. We did not open this and there is no reason to do so. And obviously, Keep in mind that if you wanted or had to remove it and take it apart, uh, there's very high voltage in there. So there's a potential for harm, which we don't want. And of course, we don't really want to play with it. This 2024 version, just to be clear, has an additional, it looks like rubber or rubber-like material around the gasket, like a sort of a gasket around it. I, you can't really see it through the holes. You see a bit of black here. Uh, the big thing is, you can't really just spray anything into there if that's what you wanted to do. You would have to undo all of this in order to add grease or those types of things if you do care to do that. So here, Patrick is not touching, he's not greasing, he's not touching anything uh, apart from adding the cable ward to this. So there's no risk for warranty or any of those things. Okay, so now we are applying a silicone-based lubricant. Basically to seal it. As you can see, the silicone was only applied here to the part where the actual connector will go into the cable warden. So what we've done is we've added uh, an anti-seize agent basically on the screws here so that in case, let's say next year you want to undo this, it'll make it easier to remove those next year. So here we've added the portion on the back. As you can tell, it's a perfect fit. And there is no silicone here, but it basically squeezes on this, um, this portion here. Yeah, so now we're going to apply the second half to it. Ideally, you don't want to reopen this just because there's a possibility of obviously breaking it in the longer term. Uh, the silicone basically you know, will almost glue it together and the, you know, that might become a problem when opening it. So this is literally a set it and forget it type of device where you put it in and from that point on you are protected. So the front of the cable, in case you're wondering, actually ends up here. So 
even though it is open, as you can tell, you can see right through here, the thing is, is you don't actually have splatter from the wheels. Uh, it is much better protected than the back one is, even though it's the same design in front. So the only recommendation at this point is to keep this area clean so you make sure that there's no uh, you know, sand and anything that lands in here or accumulates up there. Uh, especially if you live places with uh, you know, things like uh, leaves or whatnot, you just wanna make sure it's clean. It, things really should not be accumulating in there, but it's not a bad idea once a year to go and make sure that it is free of debris. So as you can see, the cable warden is relatively simple to install. It's pretty straightforward. We also put a nice little sticker there. So if you're looking forward to keeping a vehicle like this long term, I think cable warden is a great idea to protect your investment. So thank you very much, Patrick, thank for you. doing the installation and explaining to us exactly how it works and you know what it will protect. So we got to see the cable and everything. In the description below, you'll find a list of how to reach uh, Patrick and his team. So if you're you know, also the website for Cable Warden, and of course, leave us some comments. We'd love to hear about what you thought of this product, whether uh, you know, you're going to get one, and how you, you know, thought it's going to be uh, affecting the cable long term. So thank you for watching. I'm CTO Bob, Bob Pellerin. See you in the next video.